One would assume this sperm fish has been produced by a multi-million dollar owner. However, that is not the prevailing scenario. 17 members of a cooperative in the heart of Chiawa are the proud Zambians behind this good catch. The cooperative started this fish farming venture about two years ago and are celebrating their first harvest in October 2011. Where we are just one of the ponds that is being managed by the local farmers and in this particular one, approximately 2,000 fish are contained in it. Over the next couple of years, this particular number is expected to rise, with the fish farmers producing right over 36,000. The progress of the project has elated Kofuma Cooperative Coordinator Stanley Chinoy. This fish that you are seeing here is between, on average, it's actually 600 grams. And we were doing this thing all by try and error, and it's success free. We have managed it. And uh, I think that is. Uh, uh, on, a, on a commercial uh, uh, level, so to speak. The farmers could not hold the excitement and burst in song and dance as joined by their technical supporters, Cherry Briggs and Richard Wilson, an American couple involved in tourism development in the area. The couple feels poverty in locations like Chiawa can be reduced through such business ventures. Instead of AID, which means giving some, 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 somebody something, in fact, it implies illness, aid does. We're looking at impact, and we've DIA. created DIA, Direct Impact Africa. The model here is completely different than what you're, I think, probably familiar to seeing. It's not an aid project. It's an empowerment project. And we decided that instead of going the NGO route, we are not an NGO, nor do we want to be one, that it would be a lot easier to do small projects directly with community. I think, uh, as you will see today, a true testament to this uh, concept is the success of this project. This is just part of the thousands of fish that will be produced by the local farmers within the Lower Zambezi of Chiawa area. And of course, this is proof of their hard work because this fish meets international and of course local standards which will provide market and of course a, a better living for these hardworking Zambians. Hennifer Skainda, TV Business News in Chiawa, Southern Zambia.